Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Diversity of Plant Zone. Before starting my today's video, I request you all to please subscribe my YouTube channel. Today's topic of my video is about Bantam and Hookaw classification system of plants. So let's start the video. First of all, I will discuss about the introduction. This system was proposed by the George Bentham and Joseph Doughton Hooker. They proposed natural classification system. Their system was published in Genera Plantrum. They divide the seed plants into 202 orders. Their system was chiefly based on Deke and Dole. It is a natural system of classification and is based on important characters of the plants. Even today, this system is being followed in India, United Kingdom and several other Commonwealth countries. It is also used in a number of herbaria and botanical gardens all over the world. It is a well-known and widely accepted classification of seeded plants. It was proposed by the two English botanists. George Bentham 1800 to 1884 and Sir Joseph Dalton Hooker 1817 to 1911 their system of classification was published in genera plantrum in three volumes and they had described about 97205 species of seeded plants in 202 orders now referred to as the families in Bentham in Hooker's classification of plants, the present-day orders were referred to as cohort and families as hoarders. It's the most well-developed natural classification system. It was published in three-volume work General Plantrum in the time period of 1862 to 1883. They described about 97,205 species of seeded plants belonging to 7,569 genera of 202 families, starting from the Ranunculaceae up to Graminiae. The delimitation of genera was based on natural affinities and was pre-Darwinian in concept. The system divided all the seeded plants into three classes. So the first class is dicotyledons, which includes about 165 families. Second is gymnosperms, which includes three families. And the third is the monocotyledons, which includes about 34 families. Dicotyledons are further divided into the subclasses which are polypatelae, gamopatelae, and monochlamydae. This is George Bentham. The time period was 1800 to 1884 as shown in the figure. This is the Joseph Dalton Hooker. Sir Joseph Dalton Hooker. The time period was 1817 to 1911 as shown in the figure. Publications Frontispiece of the 1862 edition of Chindra Plantrum as shown in the figure. Next I'm going to discuss about the important features. It is a classification of only the seed plants. The seed plants were numbered at 97,205 species and distributed among the major taxa. Monocotyledons were distributed after dicotyledons. The dicotyledons were divided into polypatelae, gamopatelae, and monochlamydae, a patellus taxa. Creation of Deciflorea taxon are described by the earlier taxonomist. The gymnosperms were considered as the third taxon of the seed plants and placed between the dicots and monocots. The authors do not mention anything about the origin of angiosperms. Among the monochlamydae, major taxa like the series were divided on the basis of terrestrial and aquatic habits. Bentham and Hooker's system. George Bentham, 1830 to 1884, was an English scientist and well-trained botanist. Sir Joseph Hooker, 1817 to 1911, was director of Royal Botanical Garden at Kew, was more 
plant explorer Bentham who cause classification deals with the seed and flowering plants it described about 202 families grouped into cohorts total number of species was some about 97205 of seeded plants key to the Bentham and who cause classification system Bentham and Hooker divided the Angiospermae or Angiospermi into two classes, dicotyledons and monocotyledons, and in between this they have placed gymnosperms. Dicotyledons is again divided into three subclasses, they are polypatelae, gabapatelae and monochlamydiae. So these subclasses are again divided into series. Series is again divided into order or cohort and again into order into the family. This is plant kingdom. Plant kingdom is divided into two sub kingdoms. The first sub kingdom is cryptogamia. Cryptogamia means seed lacking. And the next sub kingdom is called phenerogamia. This is seed bearing. So the sub kingdom phenerogamia is again divided into two divisions. So the first ovian is called angiosperms and the second ovian is called gymnosperms. Angiosperm is divided into the two classes. The first class is monocotyledons and the second class is dicotyledons. So the angiosperms monocotyledons include about 7 series and 34 natural orders. On the other hand, the ovian 2 gymnosperms include about 3 natural orders. This is the class 2 dicotyledons. Dicotyledons are further divided into the subclasses. This is the subclass 1 which is called polypatelae. Polypatelae means free patterns and it include about 3 series and 15 cohort. Subclass 2 is called gamopatelae. Gamopatelae means fused patterns and it include about 3 series and 10 cohorts. Subclass 3 is called monochlamydiae. Monochlamydiae means floor unisexual. So it includes about 8 series and 33 natural orders. This is also plant kingdom. Plant kingdom is again divided into the two types. First is cryptogamia, non-flowering plants and second is phenerogamia, flowering plants. So this phenerogamia, flowering plants is again divided into three classes. The first class is dicotyledonae, which includes two cotyledons in the seed. Second is gymnospermae or gymnospermi, and it includes seed not enclosed in fruit. Third is monocotyledonae, one cotyledon in the seed. So when we talk about uh, dicotyledonae, the dicotyledonae then again divided into subclasses. The first subclass is polypatelae, second is gamopatelae, and third is monochlamydiae. So when we further divide polypatelae into the series, the series, the first series is called Thalamiflorae or Thalamiflori, which includes about six orders and 34 families. Second is Deciflori, which includes about four orders and 22 families. Third is Caliciflori, which includes about five orders and 27 families. So second is the Gamopatelae. Gamopatelae is further divided into series, which are called Inferi. Three orders and nine families. Second is Hectromerae or Hectromerae. Three orders and twelve families. Bicarpalatae. Four orders and twenty-three families. Monochlamydiae. When monochlamydiae is divided into series, the first series is called the Carvembria. Carvembria. Six families. Multiovulate Aquaticae. One family. Multiovulate tristris, three families. Microembryae, four families. This, uh, this is the Daphnus, five families. Eclamidosporiae, three families. Unisexuals, nine families. Ordina anomaly, nine families. Now, I'm going to talk about monocotyledonae. So, monocotyledonae are again further divided into series. The series are Microspermi, three families, Apigena, seven families, Cronariae, eight families, Calicinii or Calicini, five families, Nudiflori, five families, Apocarpi, three families, and Glumisiae, five families. 
scheme of the Bentham and Hooker's classification system. This classification system is divided the plants into the two major groups and each group has subgroups. Each subgroup is divided into deviants and each deviant is divided into series and again the series is divided into cohorts and finally each cohort is divided into many orders. So I am going to discuss about the group 1 which is called Angiospermae or Angiospermae. They are ovules enclosed in ovary. They are flowering plants. Pollination occurs in them. It has two subgroups. The first subgroup is called dicotyledons. These are herbs, shrubs or trees. Stem has central pith. The thickness of the stem is increased by the activity of cambium. They have reticulate veins and embryo has two cotyledons. Subgroup dicotyledons is divided into following deviants. So the first deviant is polypatelin. Calyx corolla present. Their patterns are free. This deviant is divided into three series. And these series are Thalamiflori, series Deciflori, and the series Caliciflori. Each series has many cohorts and orders. Second deviant is the Gamopatli. The calyx and corolla are fused in their floors. Stamens are few and are attached to corolla. It has three series. These series are Inferi, Hatomerai, and Bicarpulitae or Bicarpulati. Each series has many cohorts and each cohort has many orders. So the third division is Monoclamidae. This division has mostly unisexual flowers and they form perianth. It has six series. First is Carvembria. Second is Multiovulatii. Third is microembryae, daphnos, eclamidosporiae, and unisexuals. Second subgroup I am going to discuss is the monocotyledonous or monocotyledonae. They are mostly herbs. Stem is without pit. Cambium is absent. Vascular bundles are scattered in the cortex and the leaves have parallel venation. Embryo has only one cotyledon and this subgroup has no division. It has seven series and these are First series is Microspermy, second series is Apigena, third series is Cronariae, Cronariciae, fourth series is Calicini or Caliciniae, fifth series is Nudiflori, sixth series is Apocarpi, and seventh series is Glumisiae. Group 2. Group 2 includes Gymnospermae or Gymnospermy, they are shrubs and trees. The trees are resinous, stem has central pith, vascular bundles are present in rings, scantry growth occurs due to cambium, and the leaves are needle-like and they form cones. Ovule is naked, it is not covered by ovary. Opollination occurs through the direct contacts and it has three orders. So the first order is called Nitaceae, second order is called Coniferae, Coniferae and the third is Psychodaceae. Spermatophyta or Phenericams is divided into three classes. First class is Dicotyledons, second class is Gymnospermy, and the third is Monocotyledons. So when we talk about Dicotyledons, Dicotyledons are divided into three subclasses. First is Polypatli, second is Gamopatli, and third is Monoclamidae. Polypatli is again divided into three series. And first is called the Thalamiflori, second is Deciflori, and third is Caliciflori. Gamopatli is divided into three series. First is Inferi, Hatromerai, and Bicarpolite. So when we talk about Monoclamidae, Monoclamidae is divided into series. First series is called Carvembria. Second is Multiovulati Equatici, Multiovulati Tristris, and Microembryae, Daphnos, Eclamidosporiae, Unisexuals, Ordens, Anomaly. So when we talk about monocotyledons, monocotyledons are divided into series and these series are Microspermy, Apigena, Cronariae, Calicini, Nudiflori, Nudiflori, Apocarpi, and Glumisiae. So this is the outline classification of Bantam and Hooker as shown in the figure. So Next, I am going to discuss about the class 1. Class 1 is called dicotyledons. This group includes angiosperms in which the seed bear two cotyledons and leaves exhibit the reticulate venation. Seed with two cotyledons flower with pentameris and tetrameris reticulate venation. Subclass 1 of dicotyledon is 
polypatelin. Polypatelin means sepal and petals distant. Petals free, 14 series, 25 orders and 165 families. Thalamiflori, flowers hypogenous, stamens many and disc absent. It has six orders which are called Rinales. Second is Pratelis. Third is Polygaliniae. Third is Caryophalliniae. Fifth is Gutifrelis and Malvillis. Disciflori, flower sepogenous, disc present below the ovary. Four orders are Geranials, Geranials, Olochelis, and Salestrelis, and Sependils. Caliciflori, flowers perigenous and epigenous. Five orders are Rosales, Myrtales, Myrtales, or Pestiflorins. Phycodils and Ambulales. Subclass 2, which is called Gamopatli. Gamopatli sappers and petals distant, petals fused. Inferi. Ovary inferior, three orders are Rubiales. Second is Estrales or Estros. Third is Campanales. Campan Campanales. Hetromeriae or Hetromeriae. Ovary superior stamens in one or two rows. Carpals more than two. Three orders are Aricules, Primulales, and Abanales. Next is Bicarpalati. Bicarpalati or Bicarpalati. Stamens, ovary superior stamens in one rows and carpals two. Four orders are Gentiles, Gentianels, Gentianels, Pulmonials, Personals, and Lemials. Third subclass is Monoclamidae. Monoclamidae flowers apatellus period lacking if present not differentiated into sappers and petals. So they are further divided into the curvim, curvembryae, curvembryae, embryo coiled ovule, usually one. Multi-ovulate aquaticae, aquatic plants ovules many. Multi-ovulate terrestrials, terrestrial plants and ovules many. Microembryae, embryo manate. And daphnos, carpal one, ovule one. Eclamidosporiae, ovary inferior, unilocular, ovules one to three. Unisexual flowers, unisexual ordens, anomaly. Relationship uncertain. Class 2 is Gymnospermy or Gymnospermi. This group includes gymnosperms in which the seeds are not enclosed in fruits. Ovules, Nicate, and three families are Nitaceae, for example, Netum, Coniferaceae, for example, Pinus, Cycadaceae, for example, Cycus. And the third class is the Monocotyledons. Flower Primaris, Venetian Parallel, Microspermy, Ovary Inferior, Seeds Manet, Epigena, Ovary Inferior, Seeds Large, Cronariae, ovary superior, carpus united and parient colored. Calicinae or calicini, ovary superior, carpus united and parient green. Nodiflori, ovary superior, parient absent, apocarpi, ovary superior, carpus more than one, free. Glumaceae, ovary superior, parient reduced and flowers enclosed in glooms. Each of these series mentioned under Dicotyledonae and Monocotyledonae have been further divided into orders and families. Bentham and Hooker classified the angiosperms into 202 families and they were able to provide the distant diagnostic characters to each of these families. So this is the Dwin Cryptogamia. Cryptogamia is divided into algae, fungi, tridophytes, lichen and bryophytes as shown in the figure. This is the plant kingdom. Plant kingdom is divided into two types. Cryptogamia, non-flowering plants and Phanerogamia, flowering plants. Phanerogamia is further divided into three classes. The first class is Dicotyledonae, the two cotyledons in the seed, Gymnospermae, seed not enclosed in fruit, and Monocotyledonae, one cotyledon in the seed. Dicotyledonae is shown in the figure, Gymnospermae is shown in the figure, and Monocotyledonae, this is the 
monocotyledonized pericarp endosperm it includes pericarp this is the pericarp this is the endosperm this is cotyledon this is coleopetal this is plumule this is the radical region and this is cholerysa plant kingdom is again divided into two types cryptogamia non flowering plants and phanerogamia flowering plants Phanerogamia is again divided into the classes which is called dicotyledonae, two cotyledons in the seed. Dicotyledonae again divided into subclasses. First is polypetalae. Polypetalae grow of the separate petals. And it is divided into series. So the first theory is thalamiflory. Thalamiflory is again divided into these series. First is Renales, Pritales, Polygalineae, Caryophyllineae, Gutifrales, and Malvales. This is series 1, Thalamiflory, Stamens, Apogenes, and Mani, Cohort, and Art of 1, Renales, Gynosium, usually Apocarpius. So this is Ananaceae, as shown in the figure, Manispermaceae, and Magnoliaceae, as shown in the figure. Second is Cohort and Art of 2, Pritales, Placentation, Prital, Papaveraceae, Brassicaceae or Brassicaceae, Wylaceae as shown in the figure. Cohort in order to Pritales, Placentation Prital, this is Cystaceae and Prital Placentation as shown in the figure. Cohort in order 3, Polygalineae or Retrilocular and Polygalaceae as shown in the figure. Cohort and order 4, Caryophyllineae, Caryophyllineae, Placentation Free, Central or Exile. This is Tamaricaceae and Caryophyllaceae as shown in the figure. Cohort and order 5, Gutifrales, Diptrocarpaceae and Hypercaceae as shown in the figure. Next is cohort and order 6, Malvary, stamens, many, and sapples, well, wait. This is Malvaceae and Bombacaceae, as shown in the figure. Next, I'm going to discuss the series 2, Disciflory, Hypogenous, Disc of Presence, stamens, definite, as many as twice, the petals. Cohort and order 7, Geraniales. Androsium obdiplostimonius, obdiplostimonius, ovules pendulous and graph ventral. Series 2 Deciflory includes the Rutaceae and Meliaceae as shown in the figure. Cohort and order 8 Olacales, Olacales, Androsium. Diplostimonius, obvious pendulous and draft dorsal. Olacaceae as shown in the figure. Cohort in order 9. Silastrales, Andresium. Hyplos, Hyplostimonius, ovules erect and draft ventral. This is Silastraceae as shown in the figure. Cohort in order 10. Sependales. Andresium diplostimonius ovules ascending in draft ventral or inverted. Sependaceae and anacardiaceae as shown in the figure. Ordens anomaly. Moringaceae as shown in the figure. Series 3. Calicifloriae or Calicifloree, sepals united, stamens perigenous or epigenous. Cohort in order 11, Rosales, stamens indefinite, often twice and more the number of petals, styles distinct. It includes Rosaceae, Leguminosae, and Chrysalaceae, as shown in the figure. Next is Cohort in order 12, Matils, stamens definite, rarely indefinite. Flores perigenous or epigenous. Mertaceae, Combritaceae, and Onagraceae. Onagraceae. Cohort in order 13, Passiflorus, Placentation Prital. 
Cucubitaceae. Begoniaceae, as shown in the figure. Next is cohort in order 14, Phycodils. Parient undifferentiated ovules and exile and basal placentation. This is Cactaceae, as shown in the figure. Cohort in order 15, Ambulales. Inflorescence, Ambulate. Apiaceae are Araliaceae. Araliaceae is shown in the figure. Crola of the united petals. This is the subclass Camopacli, which is called Crola of united petals. Series 4. Inferia. Inferi. Inferi. Stamens as many as petals and alternating with them over inferior. Cohort in order 16, which is called Ruby Alleys. Stamens apipatellus and thirst distinct over two many locular locules, one many ovule. So, this is the series 4, which is also called Inferi, which is also called Rubiales or Rubiaceae. This is Rubiaceae plant as shown in the figure. Cohort in order 17, Astral, Stamens apipatellus and thirst distinct or united over one locular locules, one ovule. So this is Asteraceae as shown in the figure. Cohort in order 18. Campanulales. Stamens not adnate to corolla over 2 to 6 locular locules manioviled. This is Tylidaceae as shown in the figure. Next series is Hatromerae. Stamens as many as corolla lobes or maniovary superior or inferior. Carpus more than 2 generally isomerous with corolla lobes. Cohort in order 19. Aricus stamens twice the corolla lobes or isomerous and alternating with them. This is Aricaceae and Vexiniaceae as shown in the figure. Cohort in order 20, Primulales stamens twice the corolla lobes or isomerous and alternating with them. This is Primulaceae as shown in the figure. Next is cohort in order 21. Abonales, stamens as many as scroller lobes are many and opposite with them. So, this is the Sapotaceae and Abonaceae as shown in the figure. Next series is Bicarpalati or Bicarpalati. Stamens as many as scroller lobes and or few as alternate with them. Ovary usually bicarpillary and superior. Cohort in order 22, which is also called Gentianels, Crolla actinomorphic, leaves usually opposite. Oleaceae as shown in the figure and Opossanaceae as shown in the figure. Next is cohort in order 23 which is called Pulmonials. Crolla actinomorphic, leaves usually alternate. This is Convolvulaceae and Solanaceae and Hydrophilaceae as shown in the figure. Cohort and order 24 personnels. Crolla zygomorphic. Posterior stamens usually reduce to staminoids and ovules offer more than four. This is Bignonaceae as shown in the figure. Acanthaceae and Lenti bullariaceae as shown in the figure. Cohort in order 25 lamias, crola zygomyphric, posterior stamens reduced, and ovules are four. It includes lamiaceae and verbinaceae as shown in the figure. Subclass monoclamidae. Parient or uh, parent one or biseriate, mostly sepaloid, minute and absent. Series seven. It includes Curvembriae. Curvembria. Series usually with mealy endosperm. Embryo curve lateral or peripheral ovary, usually single ovule. It includes Amaranthaceae, Chinopodiaceae, and Polygonaceae, as shown in the figure. Series 8, Multiovulati Aquaticae, Immersed Aquatic Hops, 
एक ओवरी सिंह कार्पियस एंड ओव्यूल्स मैन ही दिस इज दी पोडोस्टी मेसियाई एज शोन इन द फिगर सीरीज नाइन मल्टी ओव्यूलेटी ट्रेस्ट्रस ट्रेस्ट्रियल हर्ब्स एंड ओवरी सिंह कार्पियस ओव्यूल्स मैन ही नेपेंथिसियाई नेपेंथिसियाई एज शोन इन द फिगर सीरीज टेन माइक्रेम्ब्रियाई कार्पस वन टू टू ओव्यूल ओव्यूल्स विद Ovules with copious endosperm and minute embryo. It includes papyracei and bristicaceae, as shown in the figure. Next is series eleven, which is called Daphnos. Ovary monocarpellary, rarely syncarpious in two to four ovules. Plants woody or herbaceous. Parent mostly sepaloid stamens perigenous. This is called. It includes. Lorisii as shown in the figure. Next series is twelve. Eclamidosporiae, ovary one locular, one to three ovule. Seeds into spermic without testa. It includes Laurentiaceae, Centellaceae, and Laurentiaceae as shown in the figure. Series thirteen. Unisexual. Flowers strictly unisexual or polygamous. Seeds into spermic without testa. It includes Euphorbiaceae and Almaceae. Next series is fourteen. Ardens anomaly. It includes Salicaceae, Salicaceae, and Cirrhotophilaceae, as shown in the figure. Class Gymnospermi. Gymnospermi include three orders. The first order is called Nitaceae, second order is called Coniferae, and the third order is Cycadaceae, as shown in the figure. Class Monocotyledons. One cotyledon series, fifteen. Microspermi, inner parent, petaloid, ovary inferior, seeds minute and numerous. It includes Archidaceae, as shown in the figure. Next is series sixteen, which is called Epigeny, Epigena, inner parent, petaloid, ovary inferior, ovules large and few to many. It includes Bromeliaceae, Musaceae or Musaceae, Dioscoriaceae, Dioscoriaceae, as shown in the figure. Series seventeen. Which is uh, also called Cronarii, Crona inner parent petaloid. It includes Liriaceae and Xyridaceae, as shown in the figure. Series eighteen, Calicinae or Calicini, inner parent sepaloid, rigid or herbaceous. It includes Ericaceae, Ericaceae, as shown in the figure. Next is series nineteen, which is called Nodiflori, parent reduced and absent, and it includes Pantanaceae and Laminaceae and Araceae, Araceae, as shown in the figure. Series twenty, Apocarpi, parent one, two, two. Seriate or absent, carpal solitary or apocarpous seeds non-endospermic. It include Alismatiaceae. Alismatiaceae as shown in the figure. Next is series twenty-one, which is called Glumaceae. Flowers in dense inflorescence and inflorescence, subtended by the bracts or glooms. Parent reduced and glumaceous or absent. Ovary one locule with one ovule, and it includes Cyperaceae and Poaceae, as shown in the figure. So next, I am going to discuss about the critical comments. Since Charles Darwin was a close friend of the Hooker, therefore it was inclined to re reorganize the whole system according to the theory of evolution. However, Bentham didn't accept the essential Darwin's work and conceived pre-evolutionary thought that species are, spe are special creations, therefore constant and immutable. Thus, the system could not attain the phylogenetic status. Yet the both ideas are very well reflected in this system and concluded as to be natural one, with the following merits and demerits. 
merits and demerits of Bentham and Hooker system. First, I am going to discuss about the merits. It is based on the natural classification system. It changed the artificial classification system. It differentiated between the seed producing and non seed producing plants. It mostly deals with flowering plants and geospermic plants. It covers a large number of plants. The criteria for this system is vegetative characteristics, herbs, shrubs, or trees. The presence of pith and cambium arrangement of leaves, leaf venations, presence of corolla, calyx, perianth, stamens, and carpels. It is a great mentioned system or natural system of classification. It is a very suitable and important for practical purposes. Monocotyledons are derived from dicotyledons. In class monocotyledons, stress is being laid on the relative position of ovary and perianth characters. Full and complete description of each plant was prepared from studies and dissection of the individual plants. For the sake of convenience, every genus was subdivided into subgenera and sections of each of which was named and diagnosed, together with the assignment of important species belonging to them. The system was accepted by the entire British Empire, USA and other European countries. The system is a result of very careful comparative examination of all the known genera of phanerogams, valuable for identification of seed plants. A special feature of this system is an addition of deciflory and arrangement of certain groups on the basis of aquatic and terrestrial characters. Next, I am going to discuss about demerits. The system is based on the natural classification system. It uses the set of morphological characteristics, but the system has failed to give the concept of phylogenetic relationship. Therefore, it is only a modified form of linear system. Thus, this system was not accepted by many taxonomists. The position of gymnosperms between dicotyledons and monocotyledons, which is anomalous. Origin of the angiosperm is not established. In monocotyledons, stress is being laid on ovary position and parent character which is, un which is unjustified in case of the some orders. The position of Orchidaceae and Cytomeniae, Cytomeniae at the beginning of monocots is not satisfactory. Among the cotyledons, monoclamidae E is being regarded as the most evolved group and polypatly is the most primitive group. Gamopatly has been placed in between the two such an arrangement doesn't follow an evolutionary trend. Some of the related orders families are being widely separated due to an arbitrary selection of the characters. Monoclamidae is being regarded as an artificial group. It includes a number of orders families possessing affinities with those of the biseriate parent. Separation of Liliaceae forms Iridaceae and Amaryllidaceae. Amaryllidaceae merely on the character of inferior ovary without making more of the comparative study. Next, I am going to discuss about the comparison comparison of Bentham and Hooker with the Angler and Prentel system. So, the Bentham and Hooker. This system is a natural one and is based on several common and constant natural characters of the plant. On the other hand, Anglers and Prentel, this system is phylogenetic and is based on the idea of evolution from less specialized to more specialized groups in ascending order. Bentham and Hooker, spermatophytes, the seed plants are classified into dicotyledons and gymnosperms and monocotyledons. The origin of the angiosperm is not established and position of a gymnosperm is anomalous, for example, is between the dicotyledons and monocotyledons. On the other hand, angler and prentos, spermatophytes are divided into gymnosperms and angiosperms. The origin of angiosperm is from hypothetical gymnosperms like the conifrales. The position of gymnosperm is not anomalous and gymnos angiosperms are considered to be polyphatic. polyphatic. Dicotyledons are placed before the monocotyledons and probably dicotyledons are considered to be more primitive than monocotyledons in all the 202 families are recognized. On the other hand, monocotyledons are placed as they are thought to be more primitive than dicotyledons. The evolutions of dicots and monocots have taken place parallel from hypothetical gymnosperms. 
In all the three 303 families and 55 orders are recognized. On the other hand, Bentham and Hooker, monocotyledons are divided into seven series beginning with the microspermy and ending in glomaceae. On the other hand, angular and parental system, monocotyledons are divided into 12 series and beginning with the pandanals and ending in microspermy. Arboreous and herbaceous habit are not considered as important in the classification of angiosperms. In anglers and parental system like the Bentham's and Hooker system. Bentham and Hooker, this system is light modification of decondor system of classification. Angler and parental, this system is based on Eichler system of classification. Bentham and Hooker, the work of Bentham and Hooker was published in Gendra Plantrum. On the other hand, the work of the Angler and Printer was published in the Die Naturae Lichen Pflanzen Familien. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much.